A UW-Milwaukee student died over the weekend. Allie Pfeffer was from Fitchburg near Madison, majoring in mechanical engineering. She also played two seasons on the women's basketball team. No cause of death has been announced. A bizarre police call in Beaver Dam. Office. Yeah, I'm calling. I was down at McDonald's and there's a couple in there that have, the, they have a kangaroo. A woman showed up at a McDonald's with a kangaroo and was asked to leave. She says it was a service animal. Customers, though, did not appreciate the exotic animal inside a restaurant and called police. Found a lady that had indeed brought a, a small kangaroo, about a one foot in size kangaroo, uh, inside of a child's car seat. And police say the couple who owns the kangaroo are well known around the city because they have a lot of different exotic animals. The detective gave the couple a warning. Former Milwaukee County Parks Director Sue Black is leaving Wisconsin. She's accepted a job as the Arizona State Parks Director. Black said her decision to move to Arizona was not based on the weather. A lot of people think it's about the weather. It, it really isn't. You know, I've, I've lived there before. I know what that's about, and I know what this is about. And I love both places. I really do. Black leaves for Arizona next week. Five people have died while clearing snow this past weekend. Three in Milwaukee County and two in Racine County. Doctors warn shoveling lots of heavy snow can cause heart attacks. They suggest shoveling smaller amounts of snow and doing so gradually. Well, take a look at this. The Coast Guard does not just rescue people, it rescues pets as well. This cute little dog found himself oh. in icy Frankfurt Bay, Michigan, and crews jumped in to save the pooch. Let's get a uh, first check on the forecast. Here's Chief Meteorologist John Milan. And snow, folks, came down in the evening hours. Get to that in just a second. But I have to mention on this date, February 3rd, 1996, all-time a record low temperature set in Milwaukee at 26 degrees below zero. Air temperature, not wind chill. That tied uh, January 17th of 1982. And look at the daily high temperature, which was also a record, six degrees below zero. That was the high temperature for that date. A very cold day, again, back in 1996. Now we're looking at two to three inches of total snow from the evening snowfall, uh, and we're going to see that snowfall all done by midnight. And again, pick out your area anywhere between two and three inches, most of southeastern Wisconsin. Folks in Fond du Lac and Sheboygan County, probably somewhere around two inches of new snow. And this is what it looked like earlier. We're watching the snow and it's really moving out very, very quickly. The back edge will be pushing across southeastern Wisconsin by about 10 o'clock in the evening on Tuesday. And the clouds, though, are still around for much of tonight. That will keep it from getting too cold overnight tonight, but chilly air is rolling in. Look at these high temperatures on Tuesday, only 16 at the Twin Cities. 16 in Fargo. We hit 21 in Milwaukee. The warm air isn't that far away with 50 in St. Louis, 46 Kansas City, and 57 in North Platte. But even though we warm up towards the weekend, we won't get that warm. Overnight low temperatures about 13 in Milwaukee, 12 Port Washington, 8 Waukesha, Whitewater, and West Bend, 6 in Fond du Lac, 7 Beaver Dam and Watertown. Now, our feels like temperatures for Wednesday are going to be chilly, only around 1 in Milwaukee by 6 o'clock, 4 below 0 out in Waukesha. Thursday morning is when those wind chills will drop to around 15 to 20 below zero, and they'll stay below zero for most of Thursday. There's the low that moves out very quickly overnight, and then high pressure rolls in from the northwest. That's bringing in the very chilly air, and that cold air settles in for Thursday and stays around until Friday when we start a warm-up. So overnight tonight, the snow is basically before midnight, two to three inches. 8 degrees inland, 13 in the city with mostly cloudy skies remaining. And then on Wednesday, we're going to see 18 degrees for your high inland, 22 degrees in the city with partly cloudy skies. The wind's a little bit out of the northwest and brisk at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Then tomorrow night, that's the cold night. We're going to see wind chills down to about 20 below zero in spots, zero in the city, seven below zero inland. And into Thursday, another cold day, lots of sunshine. Winds will start to turn southwest late to a high of 14 degrees. Those southwest winds will take temperatures up to 28 on Friday with variable clouds. Saturday warm into the 30s with a wintry mix late in the day. Light snow is possible again. On Sunday, we stay in the 20s early next week.